What's up, guys? It's Nurse Marcel back to you with another video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video if it's to your liking. Um, first of all, I just wanted to everybody happy holidays. I'm not a big holiday person. I'm actually a Grinch. Um, I'm just not green. I don't like the holidays for many, many reasons. Um, but I'm coming back to you guys because I just want to make a video about depression and during the holidays and try to, you know, help anyone who may feel, you know, depressed any way that I can ease that. Just talking about it throughout the video and just allowing people to understand that um you're not alone um during the holidays and it's plenty plenty of resources for you to reach out to or for you to who people that you can talk to or whatever so we're gonna get into this video so i have never been big on the holiday season um, I've had my moments. Like I said, I have a daughter. My daughter is big now. When she was little, I tried to do what I can because, you know, when I was growing up in the holiday, during the holiday season, especially Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, you know, and so forth, uh, my family was very, very, very together. And we always have Christmas dinner, always have Thanksgiving dinner. We always got together New Year's. And it was a big thing in my family. But as you grow up, as the matriarchs of your family, they pass away, things start getting different. It shouldn't, but things do get different. And growing up, I want to say maybe around 16, 17, things were different. It wasn't just like when I was young. And a lot of people, I was blessed to have such a close-knit family, to have people so close to me. And, you know, we did everything together on the holidays and even birthdays. You understand what I'm saying? And in any, many other occasions we've done. But a lot of people, they do not have those kinds of, um, I want to say, blessings. And a lot of people, they are alone on the holidays, whether they live far from their family, whether their family passed away, whether they don't talk to their family, whether it could, it's so many different reasons. And I just want to say that I'm sorry. I know like it's not my fault, but I just want to extend my apologies for anyone who feels like they don't have anybody, for anyone who feels like they they are alone this holiday so this is a very 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 depressing time of year the depress and i don't like it i don't like it because it makes me feel depressed and that's not even why i don't like it i just don't like it because first of all you have all these people you know buying food buying gifts doing this doing that when it's the same shit every year, excuse my French, but it's the same thing every year. It's like you go do this, you go do that, but we're still killing each other, okay? The government is still trash, okay? Okay, you still, we still fighting, you know, a whole, a whole pandemic we've been fighting for almost two years now. You understand? Shit is still gonna be shit. So yes, this may be a time of year to, you know, to reflect, to lay your head down, to chill with family members. But what about the people who don't have people to chill? What about the people who go through things by themselves on the daily and they don't have nobody to spend any time with? They don't have no friends. You understand what I'm saying? They don't have any family. You understand? They don't have any kids. They don't have any, you know, any significant other where they could lean on and, 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 and they could share it with. And that's my biggest thing on the holiday season with this whole thing and this whole charade it's just bull crap and i rather just chill i'm so happy that my daughter is big enough to understand these things because she gets it like i swear that's my child like she she gets it she understands it she's like yeah this is like uh and i'm good i don't have no other young ones so i don't really have to do much i don't have to like blow anybody's mind during the holiday season so what I recommend, if anybody does not have anybody to talk to or go to, there's plenty of hotlines that you can call if you feel like you feel depressed. Now, if you feel depressed through the holiday season, what I personally would recommend, do not watch movies 
that has to do with Christmas movies, Thanksgiving movies, stay away from that. For my ladies, if you watch Lifetime, try to stay away from Lifetime until the new year. And fellas, you might not watch Lifetime, but watch some sports. Sports, I know for fellas, it takes y'all to like a whole nother universe, a whole nother planet. So just focus on sports, you know, focus work. That's another thing too. If you have a job and you, you know, make sure work on those holidays, work on Christmas, try to waste the day away. That's what I normally do. I try to waste the day away. Excuse me. I'll watch a movie or something. I'll, you know, read a book. You know, I'll sleep. That's the best thing. The number one best thing to do is sleep. Just sleep the day away. Make some tea. Woo saw calm down and you know reflect. Don't think too much on it. Don't make such a big thing about it because there are better days. There are better days than the days during, you know, the end of the year. It's always depressing. Like, I hear songs. Sometimes I think about loved ones that passed. My grandparents who were the matriarchs of my family. And I think about them and I'm just like, I wish they were here. Like, they were here. Family would be so much different. Things would be so much different. But they're not. People come and go. You're on this earth for a little while. And you don't know when your time is to come. And you serve your purpose. And you go. And that's just the way it is. But for now, you know that we're here. And we're on this earth. And we have to live out our days. Just try to live it out the best way you can. And try not to think about the small stuff. Try not to fret about whether or not you have anybody, because you always have yourself. And I want people to understand that having yourself is the biggest blessing there is, especially when you could be a friend to yourself, when you're comfortable with yourself, when you're comfortable being alone with yourself. It's no place that you cannot go. Yes, it's always good to know people to have connection. That's one thing. Networking is two totally different things from when you know you have yourself, you know you could be by yourself, you know you could spend Christmas, New Year's Eve by yourself, you know you could spend Thanksgiving by yourself, and you're not going to blow your head off. You know that you're in comfort from yourself than networking and trying to make that money. It's two different things because you can network and make that money and not let nobody in. You can do those things. That's fine. But to break that apart and to really understand being alone, being by yourself is a blessing. Like, but if you have somebody, don't get me wrong now, if you have somebody to share it with, that's blessings on top of blessings. Because not everybody has that. If you found your best friend and found somebody you ready to take that ride with, you already you already won. You won 10 times over. Because there's a lot of people who are alone, older people who are alone on Christmas, New Year's, they don't have no family. Maybe they have kids. And it doesn't matter if you have family or not because you can have family and still be alone. That's another thing too I want people to understand. You can have as much family in the world. You can have as many friends in the world but still feel like you're alone. And that's messed up because if you feel like you're alone, something ain't right. Something ain't clean in the milk. If you still feel like you're alone and you don't have and you have family you have family you have friends but you still feel lonely inside something's not right maybe it's the wrong people maybe you're not talking and communicating maybe you're just feeling like you know maybe it's you it could be also the person too who just wants to shut off everybody and not want to talk to anybody trust me i understand i go through those spats too but i just want to cut off everybody and i just want to be by myself and but that's when you know you don't blame everybody else you blame yourself you look within yourself and you say self you know what i'm doing this maybe if i reach out maybe they'll reach back out and maybe the cycle will be cut from there maybe we can make something actually happen instead of me pulling back and sometimes we do that but now for the people who don't have nobody just imagine people have nobody and I, and i'm not saying maybe they might have a friend or two okay but it's it's not the same especially when you don't have nobody you don't have no family your parents are gone and yeah you have a friend or two but you still feel by yourself you still feel like something is not fulfilled you feel like you know what the world just seems like it's going crazy it seems like it's just it's just like going like berserk i don't even know what to do I lost my job. I'm here by myself. I got to pay rent. I just want to tell you, you are not by yourself. You not. You know why? Because you got God. And if you are believing in God, and I don't want to put religion in this, but it's very, very true. You're not by yourself. Pray, pray, pray. I tell people that all the time. Pray, pray, 
day in and day out. It's nothing like manifesting something that you want. Manifestations is very, very real. And people have to understand once you become a believer and you believe in manifestations, you can accomplish anything these things will come to you like that but you have to be a believer and i feel like people who feel like they by themselves and feel like they don't have anybody and they might not have anybody just pray pray you could pray to god for you not to feel like that you could pray to god for your blessing to come into your life and that's when that's when right you do that but you also have to decipher, which is not really a word. This is urban word for me. But what you what you really have to know the difference. Let me let me speak regular. You really have to know the difference, right? Of somebody coming into your life or the devil trying to come. You know, because you can ask God for things, but the devil's still listening. Okay, you can ask God for stuff and the devil's like, hmm, let me beat God to it. Let me do, you know, let me do this. And you have to know the difference between who's coming in your life to be a blessing and who's coming in your life for hell because that's what the devil sent. Because you, okay, so know the difference. Don't be fooled. But always, always pray, pray, have that relationship with God and whatever higher being that you have. Whatever higher being that you have, have that relationship and just talk in the universe. You don't have to, if you don't believe in God, because I'm not, everybody does not believe in God. But if you do not believe in God, just talk to the universe. Talk, talk, talk. Let your voice be heard and it will come to you. It might come to you. Might, you might be surprised. It may come to you in the littlest thing. It might be a coworker. It might just be somebody who you start a conversation with at the supermarket. It could be the neighbor upstairs that you never thought, like, you know, just different things. And you you just have to be a believer. But the holiday season is really, really, really depressing for a lot. And for a lot of people, it's exciting. They love it. They love the lights. I, 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 the lights and stuff is cool to me. I used to like to go to the city, look at the tree, like certain things, the ball drop. Like I get it, but I still was always, I think I was trying to suppress. What I was trying to do was I was really trying to suppress how I really felt about the holidays. And I was trying to, cause at that time my child was young. So I was trying to suppress it. Like, okay, I can't feel like this. I have to be an adult. I have a whole six year old. I have an old eight year old. I have a whole 10 year old. But after my daughter got about 11, I was like, okay. I don't really have to fake the funk anymore. She's older. She understands. And now that she's 13, it's like, oh, she really understands. Like, she gets it. And she understands her mom and how she feels about it. She doesn't have to feel, feel aware about it. Of course, she gets her gifts on Christmas. Of course, you know, I try not to make her feel like that. But she understands because she's... These kids nowadays, they're very, very smart and they understand what's going on. They know, you know, what's cool, what's not cool. They they get it. They're not like us back in the early 2000s, 2000s. We were in that hip on a lot of things. Like we were just, it's, it's like a different culture. It's a whole different, these grow, kids grow up so fast. They have so much better technology than we did. And it's just crazy how they can grasp things more faster than I could ever have. Like, I'm not even speaking for everybody, but back then in the 2000s, than I could ever have. It's crazy. But at the same time, it's really, really cool. And it's really, really good. But to sum everything up, I just felt I just wanted to do a depression because I'm big on people's mental health. I'm big on people who feel depressed. And because suicide rates are at an all-time high, especially, especially, especially this time of year. People are going through so many things and then you add the holiday season on top of things and they just like, you know what? I just don't want to be here no more. I just can't take it. I just, I, I'm just done. And you have to be a really, really strong person to overcome, to see past. And a lot of people are not like that. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing for someone to feel like that, for someone to actually 
feel like, you know what, I can't take it anymore. Because it could be a lot for someone to burden. A lot of people, it's, it, it is, because I get overwhelmed. So if I get overwhelmed, imagine people who been through a lot, who don't have any family, people who, who are struggling, people who have demons within themselves, imagine. So it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's nothing to to suppress. Don't suppress it. Let it out however you have to. And remember, you are not alone. You are not alone. You're never alone. So don't think that because you don't have friends, you don't have family, that you are alone. You always have a friend in Jesus. You always have a friend with whoever higher being you, you believe in. And just always pray. Pray, manifest, and the, the world is always going to be yours. This is Nurse Marcel. Enjoy your evening. Bye.